What happened in Pope County has stunned Arkansas and has rocked the nation. A mass murder of almost unbelievable proportions. 16 dead, including 14 who may be members of the same family. It all started yesterday with a shooting spree in Russellville that left two people dead and four people wounded. Then, last night, police discovered five bodies inside a home in Dover. And today, the grisly recovery of nine more bodies. We begin our coverage tonight with Stacy Allison in Dover. Police lines went up just after daybreak this morning as deputies prepared to search for more bodies. They found nothing in the pond, but just a few feet away, someone spotted what looked like a grave. And two feet below the ground, a body. Hold it, hold it, hold it. There it is, there it is. Not one body, but seven, stacked one on top of the other. Police brought them out in body bags. They believe they are Simmons' wife, Becky, his son, Gene Simmons Jr. of El Paso, a grandchild, and four of Simmons' younger children still living at home. 17-year-old Loretta, 15-year-old Eddie, 10-year-old Marianne, and 8-year-old Becky. The sheriff was visibly shaken. Emotionally, fellas, you never get used to it. You never get used to it. And I have a job to do, and I try to hold up and do that job. Police believe those in the grave were killed first, possibly Wednesday or Thursday. Then the five in the house arrived from out of town. Police say they were probably killed immediately, and along with them, two grandchildren, each about two years old, found later today in the separate trunks of two cars at the house. Few in this community knew what went on inside of this wall. Neighbors say Gene Simmons and his family lived here in virtual seclusion. So many are not surprised that 14 people could be murdered here Christmas week in secret. We're at Smith Morgan Cemetery, south of Little Rock, a good ways. Uh, it's small, three acre cemetery. Three more victims of Gene Simmons Sr.'s family are buried here. His son, his, his wife, and, and their child, 20 month old Trey. In an earlier video, we were up near Conway where four more of his family members were buried. If you're not familiar with that, you can go back to that video and watch that, but he was responsible for killing his entire family, 14 people in all, family-wise, and then he went to town and killed two other people that were not family members. And they are located back here in the corner. I noticed when I got here and looked around that you know, this cemetery has been here since 1878, and their stone is over here in the corner all by itself, at least when they, when they were buried here, they were off in the corner all by themselves. Um, there's another stone there now right next to it, May. That was his wife's, Billy's wife's maiden name was May. Billy and his wife arrived at the house in Dover on the 26th of December and those two were shot pretty much immediately when they come in the door and Trey was the one person that had been drowned. Um, if you check out all the reports, look through all the news clippings, videos, once you go through everything, it's real murky on, on what happened when and what happened to who. I found a prosecutor's report that labeled who died and how, and there was only one drowning, and that was Trey there. He was 20 months old, William III. And Renata is his wife, Williams, uh, Bill's wife. She was 21 years old. And Bill was 22. He kept 
His father, they kept rain barrels or blue type barrels around the house for water because they didn't have plumbing. That's what he used to drown Trey. So, 1987, they were buried here. Right next to him, Daniel Mark May. He was born in 72 and died in 93. So, some five years, six years later, more family members came over here in the corner with him. So, he was 21. I'm not sure what the relation is. Possibly he is Renata's brother. Or was her brother? When they would mention where his family was at, how we could contact his family, and this kind of thing, the investigator said the only the only thing then that he saw was his bottom lip would quiver. And the community is quivering too. Those who knew the family feel fear when they think of 16 murders in their small community and no motive. It's right next door, just a couple houses down. And it was late before we ever got in bed. And I just laid there. I could see those kids' faces. They were scary. Stacy Allison, Channel 4 Eyewitness News.